what's up sisters welcome back to my channel i am here to update you on my current natural hair routine and how i achieve this look stay tuned and don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay so i like to start off with freshly shampooed conditioned in detangled hair so i've been using the main choice type 4 leaf clover shampoo and also the conditioner i've been using the tgin triple moisture replenishing conditioner both of these are type 4 friendly i am type 4b with a little bit of a with a tiny bit of c it doesn't take much for me to detangle my hair because it's short right now um, but i do use a shower comb to detangle and sometimes finger detangle beforehand i like to use the main choice leave-in spray the type 4 leaf clover one when i'm using gel to define my curls so there's less buildup. so i just spray that all over and then i go back over with the shower comb to comb that through and make sure there's no more tangles in my hair next i'm going to section off my hair it makes things a lot easier when going through um, if you watched my channel um, or previous videos and you know how i section my hair i like to section the top first from the rest of my hair and then i go through and section the sides from the back this just makes it a lot easier and quicker to um, go through my hair and style it so what's new to my routine is a tgin mirror curl styling gel usually i use the brown eco style gel or fantasia gel this is a clear gel and it has biotin and black castor oil in it which is great for my postpartum shedding now that i have three under three it's important that i style my hair really quickly so i'm doing much larger sections compared to before I start off by spraying my hair with my L Curl Refreshing Spray which will help soften the curl once it dries and keep it from having such a hard feeling from the gel. And then I'm applying the TGIN Mirror Curl Gel from root to end. Just saturate it, it'll help clump the curls and control frizz. And then I'm taking the dimming brush and brushing that through and curving it upwards or flip to help give that bump or curl at the end of my strands. I repeat this step on both sides of my head and also in the back I'm going to show you again up top repeating those same steps I'm going to take a large section from the top and clamp the hair away and then I'm going to spray my hair with the Myel curl refreshing spray comb that through and then apply the gel to my hair clumping my strands together and then take the dimming brush to define the curls curl upwards with the dimming brush and let the curls form at the end Try not to touch too much. Then I'm going to repeat the same steps all the way through. With this technique, I would say the ends are more important than the roots. You definitely want to get that curl at the end. The roots are going to add volume pretty much. Definitely as it ages throughout the week. And you can just fluff at the ends and, you know, unfluff those flat spots just by picking at the root. But not pulling all the way through where you'll... Um, mess up the ends of the curl so as you can see the dimming brush i use it just like i would use a curling iron and just curl under or flip the ends just to get that bump and once i shake it out and separate the strands from each other you'll see the curls form now for some reason i lost footage don't know how i lost footage but i did but i'm gonna add how i separate the curls later but i'm gonna show you at the back of my head at the nape where it's shorter i just finger coil that's like because it's the shorter pieces and it's easier to do oh and here is the example i was talking about this is some old footage but this is how i separate the curls i take the ends of a comb and just pick at it slightly not damaging the curl but just separating them and since my hair is longer i do shake it now for my edges, I've been using the Eben Family Size 25 Hour Edge Tamer. This is a great investment, it's like $16, but the jar lasts a long time. And I like using this on top of gel sometimes, or gel on top of it, and it just lays my edges down really, really well. I'm using a edge brush, you can find it at a beauty supply store. It's one of those double-sided ones with the toothbrush at the end and the comb at the other end. I'm shaking my curls a little bit more to, you know, help them separate a bit. 
you can see the curls are a bit bigger compared to my other time and that's just because the larger sections I did just to get through my hair faster now to add some shine and some oil I used the cream of nature argan oil anti-humidity shine in mist great to control frizz and add shine now y'all been asking about the little bandies I've been wearing and they are from the wrap life I have these in several colors also from the wrap life I have um, some head wraps and I think y'all been asking me to do some head wrap tutorials on how I've been uh, wrapping my hair for the past year but this is how I um, uh, accessorize with the bandy I just wrap it around around the tips of my ear and the um, nape of my neck or head and just tie it once create these bunny ears at first and then I'm going to take those two bunny ears and cross them over to the opposite side and tuck the ends in it's quite simple nothing serious I wouldn't tie the bandy too tight because one it can give you a headache and then it can kind of forcibly untie itself if you do too tight so just think of it like just think of it like you're creating a headband on your head with it so just tuck the ends in um it can be tedious sometimes but i really enjoy them they have like they have different textures if you go on the site you'll see i forgot the ones i got but they're the stretchy ones let's put it that way so that concludes this tutorial in my current natural hair routine for my twa i hope you really enjoyed it forgive me if i sound stuffy i'm a little sick right now but thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe comment and check out my other videos peace out sisters